Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. If you're brand new, my name is Jessica Alexandria. I'm the creator of Bahati Life Apothecary and I'm a professional astrologer, tarot, and intuitive reader. As you can tell by the title of today's video, we're gonna be diving into messages that your guides or the guides need you to receive right now. Now we have three piles to choose from. Pile number one is the rose quartz. Pile number two is the geode. And pile number three is the buckeye. If you need additional time with choosing your pile or choosing your crystal, please feel free to pause the video. In the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and meet you at your timestamp, which will be linked down below in the description box and also in the comments. All right, my loves, so if you chose pile number one, which is the rose quartz, this is your reading. So I'm gonna take my time with this because I've been channeling messages so so effortlessly today or just not today but just in general lately what does spirit need you to know right now so first and foremost my loves what i'm feeling and what i'm hearing is um the word is omen um it's it's um, hearing and seeing, looking for signs. I'm also getting what I'm what I'm getting is it's not what you're it's not what you're looking for. It's not what you think that you're looking for. This feels like for this pile, what you are about to experience or what spirit wants you to know right now is that there's definitely something unexpected that you are going to see signs of first before you actually see it physically manifest. I'm also getting the vibe that spirit is telling you or the guides are telling you to be very open to what they are trying to bring to the forefront, right? So there's this big emphasis on the word forefront. So it's something that has been in the past or not, oh, I, that makes a lot of sense. I wasn't trying to say the past, but it's something that's been in the past or been hidden from your from your vision. You might have, I don't even think that you would have noticed it. Like I'm asking, was it something that they're seeing in their peripheral? Meaning like in the side, it's something that you might have written off. Um, something that's been giving you angst, anxiety. So the cards that we're receiving here right now are eight of pentacles, also six of cups reversed and we also have eight of swords upright and the page of cups this i i'm hearing i heard the word timeline um as i hear the word timeline there's this message of things aren't meant to be on your timeline they're always going to be on the divine's timeline what divine sees what divine understands and knows beyond what you can see what you can understand and i heard without a shadow of a doubt trust the fact that spirits or the divine's wisdom and direction for your life is always going to be better than what you logically emotionally feel like you need or want or desire sometimes there are moments a lot of times there are moments when what you desire and what you are trying to manifest are in perfect alignment with spirit, but sometimes your logical brain as a human being doesn't pick up on what spirit has in store for you. And as I'm saying that, I feel this really strong presence come up behind me and give me this big, 
big hug. And this is energy that spirit wants you to receive. It sometimes catches you off guard, but it's there to support you. It's there to nurture you. If this is something from the past, because that's what one of the words that jumped out of my mouth it, during your reading, if this is something from the past, this cannot be something that contributes anxiety into your present and into your future. Spirit does not want you to have angst and it, they're clearly saying it's not meant to give you difficulty. If this is something from the past, it would have been so transformed and had transitioned so much that it's not even the same thing that it once was. I'm hearing the word evolution and I'm also hearing the word grace. Um, I'm also getting this strong message that it's your, there, when we're talking about the past or when, when your guides are talking to you, talking to me about the past for you, it's because there are certain circumstances, certain situations, certain events that truly served as lessons. This is not meant to punish you. It's actually, what I'm hearing is it's actually meant to strengthen your intuition and your connection with spirit. As I say that, the, the Queen of Cups shows up and also the Ten of Cups reversed. Some of the situations that you have already walked out of, this is a long time ago, this is like six months ago, or in your, in just further down the line, it's longer than six months. Some of the situations that you've manifested, this is what the guides are saying, some of the, what you have manifested and what has materialized into your life was not set, set there in order to give you happiness. And that can be a tough lesson because ultimately as human beings, we do want to feel happy, we do want to feel secure, we do want to feel safe, and we want to enjoy our experience here on Earth as much as we can. But Spirit says, not every experience that we bring into your life is there to be to uh, to give you long-term happiness. It's there to contribute contribute to you and give to you in a way that we see fit for you at this moment and time. Um, Spirit is saying to me that every single one of us, it's a reminder, every single one of us has such a different path to take. And along that path, there are going to be some peaks and some valleys. There's going to be some highs and some lows. And lessons is not the right word. It's more like experiences. There are experiences that, again, are not set in your set in your on your path in order to make you feel happy whole complete happily ever after they're there to strengthen your intuition and also your bond with your higher self and also with the divine and the more that you start to understand that and respect that the more that you will find more ease is the word that i'm hearing more ease with what is coming into your life instead of you feeling like it's tumultuous or turbulent Wow. Um, a lot of this has to do with your perception of what is jumping out, what is coming through. Yeah, we have Seven of Swords. There's something truly that wants to step forward in your life. Yeah, there's something that has been hung up. There's something that we have the hangman here, but I don't see this as you. I see this as this blessing that is trying to materialize into your life and it is truly I'm hearing coming out of the embers of it's very phoenix like it's from past circumstances it's from past circumstances that whips around in an interesting way and comes in 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 a new form it's interesting because the world um spirit your guides are saying don't whatever this blessing is they don't want you to lock in on it it's not that it's not going to be lasting. It's just that there's this really strong message right now that says, um, it's like the law of impermanence. Um, nothing is meant to be forever. You're meant to, I don't know. Can you speak to me on this? I, I feel this is information. Um, in addition to this blessing, uh, this is information. Wow. Yes. Information that is going to create um, 
Emperor and the World, I'm sorry, Emperor and the Wheel of Fortune. This is either going to create insane amount of security and stability for you, strength, I'm hearing the word consistency, and in it for the long haul. Um, but I'm hearing that that sometimes, and definitely in this in this position that you're in right now, sometimes the best things take time to develop, and you want to give them the space to develop as they will. Um, as and that's why spirit doesn't want you to hold on to this because there's a lot. Again, it's bringing me right back to this original message that there's something in the in the back that's going to be brought up to the forefront, and if you are so locked in on what you want it to be, what you want it to look like, you are going to make it harder for it to enter in. I just heard the word suffice. Um, such an interesting, such, a, such an interesting choice of word spirit. Can you speak to me on that? Yeah, the, <clears throat> the Empress and the Two of Swords is here. It's you guys are thinking in your head, you know, this will not suffice, this will not do. And Spirit is saying, or the guides are saying, this is actually your counterpart. What you are expecting is not what it is, but we are going to give you signs to help you to be more open to choosing this thing because this thing or this person or this job or whatever is not something that you would have originally considered, but it is going to be massively beautiful and that massive, a massive blessing in your life. Something that's really standing out to me that I want to talk to you guys about is the fact that we have for you, we have the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. Both of these cards are reversed. It's so beautiful because I am seeing them as um, I'm seeing it as, I heard the word topsy-turvy. Spirit has such a funny way sometimes, and even this cup is spilled over. Spirit has such a funny way, and the universe has such a funny way of making everything topsy-turvy, turning everything around just to get you to surrender your grip on it and your need to control the outcome. And when you literally, and as I'm saying that, the hangman, as you are topsy-turvy, as you don't understand, as you don't have clarity, everything be, starts to become clear. Not only does the path unfold, but you are almost forced into a position of relinquishing your power, which makes you powerful, and relinquishing your need to be in control, which allows you to control or to shift the outcome in your highest favor. Isn't that just so mind boggling? And what I love for you guys is that you have the emperor and the empress. Both of these cards are here. And th what this is, is about learning how to listen and learning how to speak out and to not control, but to um, discern and to declare what you want because you understand even more better what spirit sees for you, what the universe sees for you, what the higher self sees for you. And with that, you are going to realize that that is such a better outcome for you than what you thought that you would have wanted. And that's what Spirit is saying, is be open to that. Some of you guys are looking at this circumstance, and it, what's really standing out to me with the Eight of Pentacles is not all of the action and the activity that's coming, you know, that's occurring in this card, but it's this tiny toad. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let's see if it'll click in. Let's see. There's this toad who's carrying things on his back. And the thing is, is like, it kind of reminds me of you have to kiss a lot of frogs before you find your prince. I just feel like you're just expecting this next blessing to come in to be another frog, another toad. And that's why your energy is a little locked up. You even have the eight of swords here. And spirit is like, you know, I just wish that you would trust us a little more because what we have for you is not what is it you're expecting. And that is a good thing. I'm also feeling, I just heard, okay, Jess, talk to them about timing. Talk to them about timing. And honestly, it kind of falls in your, it falls in your hands. 
timing is going to depend, this blessing is going to depend on your ability to just stop and to embrace the unknown. Wow, you guys. Yes. The Magician card, the Knight of Wands, and the Four of Cups. So the Magician card is actually the card of now, right? So this is what we are creating. This is what we've created. This is what has manifested. This is what materialized. And the Knight of Wands is very, very fast, but the Four of Cups is what we are emotionally stunted, like what we will and won't allow ourselves to accept and to receive and ultimately to achieve. Um, so you have, if, if, if you have manifested already, if you have already put, spoke out to the universe what you've wanted, I want you to be open to considering what the universe is bringing into your life. And what they're saying is, don't look at it from a, through your two eyes. Look at it from your third eye, what is showing up for you. It's gonna take time for you to discern, but we're gonna help you by giving you signs. Meaning, if it's a person, they're going to be very interested in in you. What makes you different? What makes you unique? They're going to be like, what's that crystal that you have on your neck? What does that mean for you? Um, why is this important to you? The, the questions and their the connection is going to feel different than what you would normally be attracted to or who you would normally be attracted to. Same thing with jobs. Same thing with lifestyle changes. So be open to who, not only who and what is trying to choose you. Yeah, the devil card. So this is big time about discernment. It's really big time about discernment. Um, be very, don't choose by surface. Okay, this is what I'm physically attracted to. This is what I logically feel like I'm drawn to. This is what makes sense to me. That's, that's going to get you crippled up. That's going to get you um, poisoned. You're going to... I'm almost hearing, I just heard the word loop. It's going to throw you into a loop again and you're going to have to repeat a pattern, a lesson. They want you to, yeah, four of pentacles is here. Just You have a lot of force saying that your energy is shut down, it's closed off. Spirit is saying, I really want you to be open to considering a different perspective, a different outcome. And we are how you're going to know is what you hear, what you see, third eye, and through third eye ears, that's what I'm gonna call it. So it'll be signs, it'll be simul, um, simultaneous, meaning like, um, s not synonymous, but synchronistic, where you, you'll you know by how, not just the initial attraction to you and how that shows up, but the, the, the level of interest is going to be different. And that's how you're gonna know, I wanna give this more of a chance, I'm gonna give this more of a shot, than this over here that I normally would have chosen. Now let's go ahead and look into your, wow, wow. Let's look into your oracle, holy crap. Yes, okay guys. All right, so the cards that, I'm gonna start with this. If they once loved you, they still do. This is giving me energy of past circumstances and past situations coming through. As I'm saying that though, I, I'm seeing the deer card and I'm hearing protection and I'm also hearing love. Now, one thing about the deer is it is known for being gentle, diplomatic, kind, quiet, observant. But <clears throat> one thing that's standing out to me with the trait of the deer is that if something is off, it is out. A deer, when it's spooked, when it doesn't feel comfortable, it is out so quick. That is a message that I really feel like I want you guys to sit with now. Are you so spooked? There's two sides to this. Are you so spooked by, are you too spooked by certain things? Are you too quick to run out? And on the flip side of that, some things that you should be spooked by, that you should be running away from, or just completely exiting out real quickly, because you can sense danger, you can sense that it's not right, you are uncomfortable in it, or too comfortable in it, um, it's time for you to be out. And with the protection card here, this is for your own protection, this is for your own good, but on the flip side, there's a lot, you have a lot of pol polarizing energy here. On the flip side, some of you guys are overly protective um, of things that Spirit is telling you, this is okay, if you're just quiet and if you're still, you will actually experience a lot of love, a lot of blessing. 
and that's what I'm seeing here. You have the blessing card in the treasure island. So there is something truly magnificent that wants to come through, right? Treasure island is the card of you just being on the shores of a deserted island. That's a very specific message, but the sea turtle, the animal totem of, you know, going with the flow and listening to your innate instincts and following that <clears throat> feels guided and pulled to you. So, and for that, that's where your blessing is coming through from. Also, we have the number 22 for you twice. So we have 2222 showing up. Then also we have time for a love fest and pucker up buttercup. So this is telling me again, once more, that this is kind of in your hands. Once you are open and once you decide that you're ener energetically open to the right things, you are going to be so stunned by what will come through, but it's an energetic acceptance. Remember, you guys had the devil card here. You have the four of pentacles. You also had the four of cups. So this is what you are allowing yourself to open your heart up, especially with the rose quartz. You guys chose the rose quartz for a reason. Don't overly guard yourself from blessings that are coming through and coming in at the same time spirit the guides are saying talk to us about expanding your comfort zones so that we can place you position you and also allow into your life really incredible blessings that we see for you and we want you to have and you don't have to protect yourself in those things because we are going to protect for you for you okay so I hope this message makes sense and it resonates, my love. Thank you so much for choosing this pile because it really pushed pushed me. <laughs> it really, really pushed me in the best way possible. All right? So I want to invite you to sub subscribe to this YouTube channel, of course, because there's plenty more videos where this came from. If you guys need candles, fix candles, or need to work with me one-on-one -on -one when it comes to setting intention, working your magic, the apothecary is there for you. I have the Nectar of Life candle here burning. It's a beautiful pink, stunning pink candle that I love to work with and also these beautiful pink roses. So it's definitely a vibe. I'm more than happy to work with you on a custom fixed candle or you can browse the apothecary and pick something or a few things, herbs, oils, and candles in order to open your heart up to the abundance that the universe sees for you. And three candles that I can think of off the top of my head that would probably be amazing for you is the Nectar of Life candle, which attracts sweetness, sweetness into your life. Also, Deep Waters candle, which is a vibrant blue, and also Healing Waters, which is a white candle. And both of those cards are there to bless you. And I'm also hearing the word restore. Goddess Vibes Intention Oil is absolutely amazing. Um, the Fertility Oil is something that I think would be absolutely amazing. And the lunar, the lunar goddess intention oil would be absolutely amazing, okay? So I'm sending you all my love, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Hello, my loves. If you chose pile number two, the geode, this is your reading. So I have some oracle cards that I pulled out for you. I'm shuffling from the mermaid tarot deck, and let's see what spirit has. I'm going to take my time with this so that I can just be open and channel messages for example this one which is coming through so strong I'm getting um, so what I'm visually seeing is someone walking through the woods um, I'm seeing the reason why they're showing me this the guides are showing me this is not because it's the physical act of walking through the woods but it's a symbol of um, getting away um, I'm, I heard uh, restoring order, but it's restoring order of the mind. And there's something about, um, like, um, there's, I'm like seeing this like old rotting uh, log, like wood. And I want to personally, like, I can see someone reaching out to, to touch it and to kind of chip off the pieces of the wood and with that there's like little bugs and with that oh wow okay so the message because I was just like what is this the message behind that is okay every new beginning comes from some old some other beginnings and I also feel like that's a song I might have heard that before as a song 
um, the most, I'm hearing the most, even this tiniest nuance is there to restore order. Everything has an order. Everything has an order and even the smallest detail that we have set into your life, that we have placed into your life is set there, placed there specifically with specific intent in order to help you to move forward. And we are transparent. That's a specific word. We are very transparent with this process. Everything in our divine order. Um, spirit, the guides are saying that <clears throat> um, we don't want you, wow, okay, that's really specific. We don't want you to kill off um, what we've placed in your life in order to help break this down. It's a slow, gradual breakdown, but that breakdown will create new life. It will create new life and it'll be fertile and it is a blessing <clears throat> in this situation at this moment in your life everything that was broken down or is currently being broken down because i'm seeing the process is still occurring right now um we're sending over the waters we're sending over the wind we're sending over the sun we're sending the earth all of these el elements are coming together and spirit is the final overseeing overarching energy here in order to help there's a specific word that they're using it just popped up and it went away um okay in order to usher in profound profound shifts and change trust us i just heard a question what was the question w will you will you will you accept this order will you accept this help uh be um approach okay wow approach it with enthusiasm be excited for okay wow this is reminding me of number one for the blessing we are for okay no for the blessing that you are about to receive it feels um i'm seeing a whole like whole holy uh um, one word that's coming through is matrimony. So there's a marriage here. I'm seeing one hand and one mouth and one other, the other hand in the mouth. So there's this exchange, this, this marriage that's occurring. Um, this sanctimony. So it, this is something that is sacred. This is something that is special, unique. It's not something that, it's not a bond that spirit, the guides take lightly. Um, it has to come from a higher purpose. What we are ordaining in your life what we are um ushering into your life is yes it's there to make you happy but also this is to fulfill a higher purpose okay wow there's this massive apology we're sorry for we're okay we're sorry for this the, we're sorry for previous struggle everything serves its purpose even the small, they're reminding, even the smallest detail, even the, the smallest plague, even the smallest, um, like, suffering, the smallest bug, like, even a flea that comes in that annoys you, irritates you, and you just want peace. It literally is there to set every, every being, everything in this world serves a purpose. Even if it seems annoying to you, it's this, I keep hearing the word nuance. I have to look up the word nuance. A subtle difference in or shade of meaning, expression or sound, give nuances to. A minor distinction, but it makes a, a, a difference. So these small differences, these small little nuances, they make such an impactful difference. I heard, um, uh, sit in the shade, <laughs> sit in the shade, um, cooling. So this means that 
there's a specific message about not overheating, not overdoing, not overextending. You don't need to do that. Spirit says sit in the shade and just kind of allow this to break down. Page of Swords. Normally I see this as a card of truth, but right now I see this as um, Spirit's hand kind of cutting things into smaller pieces to help it to break down even further. But you are, if you were to watch it, you would feel pain. We have this star card here, and we also have Page of Wands. So it's really getting chopped. Wow. Justice card. This is how it has to be. Learn. Learn. This is not meant to punish you. It's meant to... Yeah, you have so much... You have the Knight of Pentacles showing up too. So we <laughs> we have Page of Swords, Page of Wands, and then Page of... The Knight of Pentacles. We have all this juvenile energy. And then we have the Justice card and the Star card here on the side. So just... To me, it's kind of remarkable. But they're... Can we speak on this a little bit? Spirit, speak to me. What are you saying? The devil card. So I was really thinking about pal number one when I was... Um, the anemones are standing out to me. I see them as things that are beautiful to look at from, from up top, but I see and feel the sting of them. So this pile, things... Uh, I was going to say things are not what they seem, but that's not what Spirit wants me to say to you. I feel like you're really getting this, the sting of something. You have very similar cards to pile number one, but we have the Queen of Pentacles, the Six of Cups, the Ace of Cups, and the Two of Pentacles. I want to put these away, though. Okay. What are you trying to say? What's going on here? Um, oh my god, you guys are getting the same cards as pile number one. So there's definitely, or very similar cards, pile number one got eight of pentacles, but the six of pentacles is here. There's definitely, um, it's not a truth, it's a, things are getting cut. And what I'm seeing, what I'm visually seeing is something in your life right now is going from big to getting chopped smaller and smaller and smaller and then you're watching this happen and then it's like a week passes or a month passes and then it's like spirit is still chopping it up smaller and smaller and smaller and then time passes more time passes and you're like all right it's done or this is done being broken down and then it comes in and chops it down even into smaller and what and there's I'm seeing this um, record. It's very Akashic records. It's not about it's not karma. It's not past lives. This is very much oof. It's not past lives. I heard the word this is positioning. We are positioning all of these minute nuances in your life right now. I just need to look at your oracle cards. We need to know. Whoa. Oh my gosh. I love it. Oh my gosh. I love it. I love it. Oh, I want to give you guys a really big hug. Um, I don't know why. I just want, I just feel this overwhelming, like, come on. Like, oh, like, I, I, I'm, I, and I also, I feel um, this touch, you know, this touch, it, it gives strength to you. Um, I, I'm hearing the word bond, you know, there's this, and pile number one had the same thing too, uh, similar. They had this big bear hug that came, came up and it was more for comfort. Yours is for strength. You, the cards that you guys are getting are the serpent, which is knowledge and healing. And then truth, which is very much page of swords um energy then we have TikTok, which is exactly what i was talking about and the card peace and then you have you are destined for greatness on the wings of love love in spite of it all and all there is to love has been there all along 
your circumstances right now, my love, it's over time and it's like it's it's like this um, astrological. You, you should definitely pull your astrology chart if you haven't. It's this astrological shifting. So when something and the planets are it's time, guys, it's time that has to pass in order for certain events to kind of fall into alignment like Akashic records, like things that are just written in the records for you to experience. Um, in this process, though, you are so called to explore and to hold on to and to I'm hearing um, uh, I'm hearing the word divine, but it's it's about you divining meaning like almost like you prophesizing over your life you hearing and speaking over your life peace prosperity this is not about setting intention right now this is really not about setting intention this is about being where you're at and allowing it to just truly be because you have to have this breakdown this equalizing energy uh, this equalizing presence this powerful equalizing presence that is knocking everything down to size and why you want this is because the largest i'm hearing this so clearly the largest obstacle the largest monster the largest looming thing that's been plaguing you that's been bothering you this thing that you could not defeat it on your own because the odds were totally against you, they are knocking it down to size. Every small nuance, every small um, plaguing presence that showed up in your life that you don't take it personally, that you don't even try to fix it. Allow, allow spirit to just knock it down. Don't take it personally. Um, I, I, I'm almost hearing you want to document this. You want to document this because later on down the line, you're going to look back and see how order ordained it was um, and how, how much this was actually building something up and building you up, breaking something down, breaking you down, and it was just equalizing it all so that there's a, 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 an equal playing field. And in that, things, this, that's so far down the line, guys. I don't even want to tell you, um, you know, things are going to come to fruition. You know, it's, it's not about manifestation. It's about, it's like this equal cause, this um, equalizing. I know for some of you guys, you're probably like, what the fuck? I know. I know. I know. I, this is one of those moments where I'm like, why couldn't I just be like a regular reader? because I feel like it would make more sense to some people. Please let me know if this resonates, but we're not meant to all look the same. Look, the Hierophant here and the Nine of Wands. It's, you're just not, this spirit, your guides are telling you, you're not meant to be on the battlefield alone. And this is why we, you're not meant to be struggling. Don't, don't worry. Some of you guys are like, I'm trying to manifest this. I want this. I want this. I know. I get it. But you want you want what you actually want is for the opposition, the obstacle, the enemy. You want that to be wiped out. Why? Because this will prevent you from having to try and wipe it out by yourself. So this breakdown that's happening all of these things are breaking down right now you and you are going to want to hold on to peace you are not going to want to think about manifesting setting intention don't even think about that think about preserving protecting your peace while the planets are literally and your guides and your ancestors your ancestors are with you and trying to feed you, trying to make sure that you're sleeping, trying to make sure that you are, um, you know, c carrying on from a spiritual, mental, emotional, physically strong place. But meanwhile, the planets, the 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 angels, these are these incredible warriors, angelic warriors, and guides that you don't even know about are bulldozing the all of the opposition around you. Once that past spirit is saying, don't even talk about the future. 
because that's fine but they're just saying protect and restore because something about this pile will jump into the future and just want to get get back in and get no you need to you really need to spend time with your ancestors right now because um they it's like i'm just seeing all of these people around you generationally around you that are saying let us tend to you right now food water shade I don't know why, but shade is coming through. It's you're not meant to overextend yourself right now. Um, yeah, I want you guys to sit with this. You are destined for greatness on the wings of love. Love in spite of it all. All there is to love has been there all along. There are additional messages in that pile in these cards that I could take the time out to sit with you and pull them out, retrieve them for you. But Spirit is saying they let them do this because this is going to, it's almost like homework. There's additional messages there by journaling, by saying it like a mantra. All there is to love has been there all along. All there is to love has been there all along. What does that mean? Pause the video and write these things down. All there is to love has been there all along. And that's number one. Love, number two, love in dot, 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 in spite of it all. And number three, you are destined for greatness on the wings of love. Channel, sit with that because there's, you're going to keep unfolding like a book while you're sitting in the shade. This is what, because there's something more revealing itself and it's not a one-day process and i'm telling you you're gonna get so much out of it by it not just being a one-day process of oh yeah no jess i get it no sit with it longer and keep going back to it um it's like i one time one time i was doing this energy work way back in the day and i heard the words i am divine love i am divine love and i was like all right that makes sense but i kept showing up and looking at myself in the mirror at my altar, I am divine love. And it took me like a month and a half, like it took me a, a, a minute. And I had, I would hear the words so different every time I would set the intention of receiving the message. And then I would see myself differently. I would have these breakdowns. I would have these breakthroughs by saying that word again and again. It totally transformed me. Words are very powerful. And I feel the same thing for you. I hope this makes sense, my loves. Um, I have a higher wisdom candle on in my shop, the apothecary. It's third eye. It's third eye. It's high priestess. That is going to be everything. There's a third eye oil. I definitely see and prophetic dreams oil. That's that's definitely there's mugwort. Those types of things. Lavender that I see you being able to work with. If you are called to it, it's there for you. You guys know I'm all about magic setting intention. Um, also, look into the symbolism of the snake or the serpent. All right, my loves, I'm going to move on. That was another powerful reading. I'm here for it. And I am going to invite you to subscribe to this YouTube channel, my YouTube channel, my home, my home base, one of my many home bases next to BahadiLife.com. Um, yeah, because I just love channeling messages for you guys. I love being able to connect and uh share with you because it feels really good for me so i will see you in my next video hopefully fingers crossed bye hello loves <laughs> if you chose pile number three this is your reading um if you saw me bending down just now it's because i had to chase this card the hermit card which just jumped out i'm going to take my time to sit ground myself center and ask the guides what is it that this pile needs to hear right now i like to take my time because it allows me to channel messages and th see things more clearly and what i'm seeing right now is big big no it's not big big waves they're just waves and they just feel like they're coming over the head so and i can hear clearly hear the sound of the ocean i can clearly hear the sound of the the ocean um let me just sit with this for a minute. What's up with that? I heard the word awareness. Adjustment. Adjustment. Awareness and adjustment. Is 
um, observation, abrasive. I'm hearing the word abrasive. Um, what else? What's what's up with the ocean? Um, I I hear uh, island like being on an island. Hmm, Islander. Um, I'm also uh, getting a vibe on the, the stomach. The stomach. So sorry about that, guys. My camera decided to take a break, but essentially, that's kind of the message of this that I'm getting here. I'm, I don't know if you're planning a trip to go on an island, and it's interesting because you have the hermit card that jumped out. I just feel like there's a message around islander, island life. Um, yeah, and diet, diet, diet and lifestyle. I'm hearing like tropical fruits. It's giving me very solar plexus. I'm sorry, let me just crank this a little bit. It's giving me very um, solar plexus vibes. Um, nourishment, relaxation, peace quiet quiet time not in a way this doesn't feel like this doesn't feel like um sometimes with the hermit card it can be very unpacking like of the shadow so side the shadow self this is like just getting away for the sake of joy and pleasure um and it's just giving me like if you were to go on a vacation if you were to take a trip somewhere, you do it because you, you, it feels very relaxy. It feels very relaxy. It feels very retreatish and not again. It's the very opposite of dark and healing. You know what I mean? It's, it's more like, I just want to sip a coconut in the sun. And when I see the waves coming over your head, it's like, it's so funny. Like, all of the messages lately are, you know, about this tumultuous energy that you guys might really be dealing with. It's like, I heard the word deafening. And th these waves, and spirit has such a strong way sometimes of coming through. But these waves sometimes are there to kind of push you in a new direction so that you could just be like, you know what, I, I'm, I've had enough and I deserve this and I'm going to take the time out. Why? Because our society is shifting our society is having breakdowns breakthroughs and in that spirit I'm hearing the guides are saying finally she gets it finally he gets it finally and it's and they're saying it's such a shame that we have to have things crash into you in order for you to pull yourself out of this event in order to pull yourself out of these circumstances and then finally you decide okay I'm forced to take a vacation, I'm forced to take a trip, I'm forced to, whatever this is, prioritize this thing. And they're like, yeah, that's what we've been trying to tell you. It's not meant to be hard all the time. All right, guys, what what else do we have? I'm really getting, I'm surprised. Oh my goodness, everyone's getting the same cards. Page of Swords, I'm gonna put that off on the side for now. It's, it's, uh, I, with Page of Swords for you guys, I'm hearing information overload. Yeah, Three of Wands. Information overload. You have a lot of options, a lot of different things, a lot of, a lot of different things that you're exploring, a lot of things that you want to obtain, that you want to, um, explore, that you want to achieve. You have a lot of goals, and there's a lot of things out there that want you to. They want to have access to you. They want to connect with you. They want to build with you. It's very entrepreneurial. Um, but at the same time, spirit is like, there's a time and a place for everything. And the time for you is to get away and the place is on an island. We want to shift this a little bit because it's going to, you just deserve it. Like you, you, you just deserve it. It's information overload. Look, nine of pentacles. I, everyone deserves a trip. Everyone deserves a vacation, you know, regardless. I know that that seems like crazy in the current circumstance in the current environment, but if we really lived in an abundant world and universe, and we do, but everything was flowing accordingly, everybody would be able to have a really good, solid, stable life and enjoy a really good life. And that's what spirit wants. And they don't want you to feel guilty for this. 
nine of pentacles is to just kind of stop you also have the nine twice the hermit card is ruled by the number nine and the nine of pentacles is clearly ruled by the number nine and what i want you guys to know is that the hermit card naturally rules virgo and the nine of pentacles is ruled by venus in virgo if you are a student of the sacred circle tarot school you would know that or you would be hearing about that if you haven't already yes my loves look we have king of wands we have knight of wands we have two of swords we have four of wands this says put it on ice for now put it put it on a rest um i just saw a little plume of smoke from my candle here so what is this yeah knight of cups this is really relaxing with knight of cups i'm getting um putting on more relaxed free-flowing clothes things that aren't so tightly con con confining and constricting to you um it's like wearing a uniform if you're someone who's always wearing a uniform as as crazy as that and insignificant as that seems it's actually pretty significant because it's saying we want you to conform we want you to look like this we want you to show up in this way which totally denies your truth um, and that could be a metaphor for some of you guys. Some of you guys feel like you have to show up in a certain way, a specific way, and Spirit is saying right now, you know, we don't want that for you. We want you to relax. We want you to enjoy. We want you to not relax for time being. We want you to relax permanently. We really want you to have Nine of Pentacles energy, luxe, luxurious, beautiful, substantial you know, vibrant. Yeah, Ace of Swords. What is going on? <laughs> the Magician card. Everyone's getting the same energy. All right, Spirit. What's up? What's up? Is this all only about vacation? Um, I just heard, no. It's about family. It's about marriage. It's about quality of life. It's not, wow, it's about rest. Strength card, some of you guys, strength card reverse, some of you guys have been accidentally forcing, forcing circumstances or feel an obligation, a responsibility to do certain stuff and to do certain things in spirit is saying, right now we just really want you to not rest and be into the point where you're so still, but that you're just enjoying your life, going to a park, having a picnic, playing with a puppy, going swimming, doing things for the sake of pleasure and joy because you have to do that. Empress. With this, I need to talk to you guys. I didn't mean to throw her down like that. I Venus energy. Look up Venus and Virgo. Virgo constant, and I know because I'm a Virgo. All we get freaking ripped apart about all the time is about cleaning and about work and about service to others that is so outdated and it is so inaccurate yes of course we are of service it's an energy of being of service and yes of course we like things in their place but virgo what people are not saying enough is that virgo energy is about quality of life and it's not about performance it's about what really truly feels good and what is good for you what's good for us and we can pick up on those tiny minute details in order to make a shift that can make a profound change in the quality of your life and the quality of your well-being three of swords some of you guys have been really healing a wounded heart a wounded space dealing with health issues dealing with broken relationships, being caught off guard, being a victim. Spirit is saying in some of these circumstances, you have actually really truly been a victim. You showed up with the best of yourself. You, you were truthful, you were honest, you were transparent, you were forward, you did not do anything wrong and yet somehow you were taken advantage of, somehow you were slighted, you were given the short end of the stick and for that reason, they're saying, Spirit is saying, we are going to just totally need you to turn it around. Oh my God, nine of cups. Nine of cups. Nine. The nine again. Because this is a new way of life that we want you to become accustomed to so that this does not ever happen again. 
is what I just heard. Lay that to rest. Lay that to rest. Do not expect disorder anymore. This is why we want you, I'm, I'm really hearing this and channeling this, so this is why we want you to take a vacation, to take a breather, because it has been a long winding road and journey. You have been frozen in deceit. Malfunction, discombobulation, it truly, genuinely does not make sense. It has been inhumane what people have done, what people can do, and we are pulling you, oh, we are pulling you out of the mouth of the disorder. We are pulling you out of the mouth of dysfunction. Get used to this. Get used to this. Haste, make haste. Get quickly, quickly adjust and align yourself to vacation mentality. Quickly align and adjust yourself to fruitfulness. If it was once barren, it is fruitful. Now, make haste is the word that I, I keep hearing. Make haste. I keep hearing disfor disorder, disorder, dyscalculia, something that's coming through too, dyscalculia. The math doesn't math, it doesn't add up, it doesn't make sense, I know. It's not meant to make sense to you because you are not they. That's a blessing. Oh my God, I just literally just need to like put my head down. I'm seeing grapes, I'm seeing roses, I'm seeing fruit, I'm seeing garden, plentiful, plentiful, plentiful. That is what we want for you. I just ask spirit, why? Why? Why does it have to be? Ugh. Why does it have to be that way? And they said, that's not what we wanted. Humans are gonna be human. I hear uh, building blocks. It's the blocks, we gave them the blocks and this is what they created with it. That's not what we would have wanted. We can't, we can't tell humans what to do. If they want to seek us, if they want to have a better outcome, if they want to do right and do better, they would have come to us, they would have sought us, they would have, oh my God, oh my God, sorry guys. They would have, oh, I can't even like, give me a second. Sometimes I like choke on it a little bit. If they wanted to do, do better, they would have sought us, they would have looked out for us, but they chose not to. Spiritual, you spiritual being, you spiritual being wanting a different outcome, having a different purpose, having a different destiny. You're not, don't put yourself in the same box as them. I keep hearing as they. Do not put yourself in the same box as they. They are disordered. It, it doesn't make sense to us either is what I'm hearing them say. It doesn't make sense to us either. It's what they've chosen. We would not have chosen that. If they wanted to do better, they would have they would have been looking for us, but they refuse to look into our eyes. They are ashamed. They know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. They can't look at themselves. I heard a serpent, a serpent, a snake. A snake sheds its skin, it's still a snake. I keep hearing, they know what they, 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 they know not what they do, but the thing is, is, like as soon as I say that, the spirit is saying, it's the opposite. They know what they're doing, they're choosing it, they just don't. The reason why they don't know is because they refuse to, they, they're choosing ignorance. No judgment, but they get their karma. But don't worry about that. Their karma is not for you to sort. I heard the word legacy. You have a different legacy. Okay. Um, Spirit is saying, don't let them weaken you. Don't let it weaken your faith. Don't let it take away from your, your heart, your love, and what we have for you. 
Let's look at the Oracle. Oh gosh, I need to like rest my head. <laughs> oh goodness, okay. I just, I wanna do this reading, I do. I just do the way that my body feels right, <laughs> right now. Um, I just feel it so strong and sometimes it like comes up and they're like, so right now what I feel like it's like they're supporting, like it's like a bed. I know that sounds crazy because I'm sitting up, but it's like this metal, like this very s stabilizing bed that I'm resting on right now because, and it's like very solid. Like it's very like, if I try to push back, it's not going to relent. And what this means is like, this is unchanging. This is the way of, this is the way. Uh, I know that sounds really crazy. That's more a message for me, you know, and just how me as a reader. So as I'm working with you guys, it makes sense for me, but it's just making it harder for, not harder for me, but it's like, okay. So the cards that you have are burden, you have risk and you have the Merlin, alchemy, justice, and balance. Now with alchemy, justice, and balance, this is connecting back to karma. Everyone has their karma, everyone has their fate, and everyone has to face their fate and their karma. Um, risk here and burden. To me with the burden card, it's a, not a warning, but it's a, um, a reminder of what the weight is that each of us have to carry and knowing that it's very important that you're not taking on too much um ace of cups is showing up here and this feels like um i hear talk to me talk to me like talk to your angels talk to your guides they want to really fill your cup up they really want to fill your cup up newness wow page of cups i'm telling you they say open your hands open your hands you're gonna we're gonna fill your cup up with what <laughs> um un, un, unseen and hidden desires so it's what you're manifesting this high priestess just showed up it's what you're manifesting it's what's materializing it's what you can sense um do you oh do you know that you are a magical being do you know how special you you are do you know how talented you are sometimes that freaks people out um your gifts how does she know that that's what i just heard how does she know that how did he how did he know because you're you're gifted um it's not meant to be a lonely jesu it's not meant to be a lonely journey for you you're meant to s align with very powerful people who are like-minded and very gifted. And it's not going to be dull and mundane. It's meant to be special, magical. You are meant to live a very magical life. I'm hearing the word October. October is gonna be a very significant time starting on the equi autumn equinox. That's when I was born, by the way. The perfect balance between night and day, dark and light. Um, negative and positive. So starting on the equal autumn equinox i'm seeing this as a very powerful portal a very powerful time of you stepping even more into your magic your intention materializing maternalizing just came through and into october before the end uh before the end of november is going to be a really uh dark and when i say dark i don't mean in a in a way that's dense or spiritually pulling you down it's actually magic time magic time big big magic time especially with the merlin card here alchemy that's where this is going to step forward mm -hmm. ace of pentacles something is very much coming in coming in coming in they choose you that doesn't always feel like a good thing this card doesn't feel so much of a good thing it's like of course they choose you but do you choose choose them why because most people are just trying to survive that's not enough Give them love, give them love. It's never in vain. Love is never in vain. But right now, Spirit is saying, co-create, 
with us co-create you know you're strong you know you can do this you know you're gifted it's not new to you it's been that way since you were a child yes there's chaos and conflict but don't get caught in that and in fact magnetize it and manifest it make that chaos and conflict even better if there's a torn bigger if there's a tornado or something that's coming through into your life go ahead and let the winds of change come through while you're on vacation sipping a pina colada you powerful magnetic being holy crap that's everyone's getting the eight of pentacles the six of pentacles four of cups keep showing up the strength card don't forget who you are oh <laughs> four of pentacles just showed up four of cups three of wands if you look at any of the other readings you would see that let me just move this forward really quickly and i just feel very called to work with the gilded lenormand i'm obsessed with this deck but you can't tell because i don't use it a whole lot what's cracking open of loyalty what's i just heard what is for you won't pass you in fact if you look down it's right at your feet yep good luck quick quick change the key i'm also getting three 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 it's like end endless for you um oh my goodness and also 111 like 111 i don't know if you guys can see that there's something quick happening here very very quick something is manifesting here if that's the case go to your altar and materialize it i keep hearing maternalize it maternalize it um nurture nurture this into life nurture this into life you have already co-created with your higher with the higher um you are wise that is confirmation what's up did you guys see hear that page of swords i'm so Page of Swords, Knight of Wands. There's a message coming on, coming in. What is it? Oh, I'm nosy now. What is, what is it? I just heard ripped. Oh. What is it? Eight of Wands. What's coming in for this pile? What you've manifested is what I just heard. Empress and judgment. Maternalize it. I'm pulling way too many cards for you guys. What is it? I just saw this one. Yeah, it's a gift. Bouquet. What is this? Ooh, something is returning back home. Something is returning back home or it's just consistent something consistent it knows it knows the way call it in yep knowledge this is like book of shadows knowledge information more you're gonna learn <laughs> especially with the merlin with its book you guys you have to keep me posted on this you guys have to keep me posted and on that note, you guys, my head is now throbbing. It's pounding right in the front. Um, and it's because I just third eye there. It's like all right here. So I'm going to have to go because I love this reading, but I got to go ground myself in the sun a little bit. But um, you guys, please keep me posted down in the comments. Let me know. And I listen, if you're pile number three, if you chose the Buckeye nut, nut, shuffle your cards shuffle your own cards and talk to them and see what's coming in what spirit talking to you and telling you about but at the same time i'm seeing you guys being open and also take that vacation and that trip i love you i'll see you guys later oh um and if you need anything from the apothecary or the shop the links for you are down below i for some reason for you i'm getting the banish candle the black candle um i just see you removing oh my god my head right now um, I'm just seeing you removing, you know, talk, not toxic energy, but just you, you know, getting away, getting away. Um, I'm also seeing the bird of paradise candle for you, the bird of paradise fixed candle. And I'm also getting honeysuckle, calendula, papaya. 
um, peony root. What else are we getting? Um, not, I guess rose. For some of you guys, very minimum of you guys, rose. Mullen leaf. Uh, wormwood. Interesting. Um, and I'm also, there's one more. Hawthorne. All right, my loves. Well, that's your reading. I hope that it it resonated. <sighs> I'm gonna go sit in the sun. I love you. <laughs> Make sure that you're subscribed to the YouTube channel because there are plenty more videos and plenty more messages that I would love to share with you. And you guys need to keep me posted on this. Shuffle and see what spirit is talking. I know you have a tarot deck. I know you have a tarot deck. This this pile has a tarot deck or an oracle deck or something or a, a crystal ball or a sky ring mirror be just be on the lookout and what I didn't know what I didn't say too is that the stork is also known for its maternal instincts something's going on here you let me know down in the comments I'm looking for you guys pile number threes I love you guys <laughs> I'll see you soon bye